What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and we are back with Ivan Drago. It's been a couple of weeks and I've had a lot of people comment about wanting this back so here we are. Um, I don't know how many we're going to do because the last couple of fights took a little while. But this one, hopefully, the yeah, last one took four rounds which is longer than we wanted. Um, here we got uh, anyone who's a knockout artist. Philip Myers, 60. No one's going to be as big as Ivan Drago. Dude's like 6'5", so no one's going to be as big as him. Mm. I don't think it really matters where we train. We don't need to stay in one place. But we will go to Philadelphia for now. And we'll see. Maybe we'll just do two fights to get ourselves to 5-0. and oh. um, Yeah, probably just do two fights no matter how long they take. Hopefully we'll put them away quicker. Because if Ivan Drago is struggling at the start, that's a bit embarrassing. That defeats the objective of him being him. So we'll see. Uh, I mean, this guy is 15 and 4, so hopefully he's not too shit. But I don't want to end up taking 6 rounds to put someone away. Because I want to make sure we can at least get every win being a knockout up until like 34 or something, when Ivan Drago actually lost. So we'll have to see. So I'll train, and then I will catch you guys then. Alright guys, we're now resting in the final week of camp. Um, got some XP to spend. I don't really know what Drago's go-to shot is. I doubt we've won anything. Prospect yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to win anything. No. Never mind. And uh, hopefully no one good is retiring from heavyweight. Nah, it's all good. Uh, yeah, so... XP. Yeah, I don't know what Drago's go-to punch is in, in the movies. Mm, I think maybe... Mm, the straight and the jab is the one. Maybe combinations together. Maybe blocking. Yeah, there we go. That seems good. We'll just stick with the 1-2 the for now. And then we'll start doing the hooks. But for now, his jab and his straight is pretty lethal, so we'll just go with that. Uh, yeah, it's time for fight week. Let's have a look at the comparison. We've hit an 80 overall already in our four fight, which is probably one of the best I've done. Uh, 75, yeah. Mm. He's had two losses by KO, so he's not actually glass chin. Uh, nothing, no. And anything that's better is his reflexes. One thing I want to try and do is always have really good strength. So let's jump into this one. We'll only do two this video. Uh, and then maybe next episode we'll do three or four uh, to catch up. Because it's been a while since I've uploaded this. I just completely forgot about it. I haven't really had the time. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll be back on it soon. And uh, yeah, maybe carry on with Drew Washington, depending on what happens with that. But yeah, this one is definitely interesting because I've never had a fight at this big before. Normally I make them all midgets. And this guy's massive. Ladies and gentlemen, glad you're with us here for Wednesday okay. night. Got a bit of a crowd this time. Here we go. Round number one. Scheduled for six. If this is the first time you've been watching this series, uh, obviously Ivan Drago stands at six foot five and I think two hundred and sixty pounds. We couldn't actually make him as heavy as he was in real life. Or well, not in real life, sorry, in the film. And it sets up the power shots. But he's powerful. He's big. I think Ivan Drago is supposed to, supposedly a power puncher, but I mean, he's a not, so far we've knocked out everyone, so technically he is, but I'm not stressed about making him a power, actual power puncher. I assume his power shot would be that big back hook. His big right hand hook would be his power shot. Get off me. I assume that would technically be his power shot. The one two's working well. Great jab there by bad intentions. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Nice. Good solid nice. one-two by bad intentions. We're hurting him with these one-twos. The power hooks, no? Okay. It's the 
Oh, that was pretty nice. So dangerous with that accuracy. A two punch combination landing. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Okay. This guy knows how to take a shot. I'll give him that. I mean, stamina's health is already really low. So even if we get into like the third or fourth round, he's not going to survive. That was pretty nice, actually. Oh, we only just skimmed his nose, really. Didn't really land nothing clean. The combo to rock him was more clean than anything. Alright, good first round. His hair is so fucking stupid. You know, he has to keep going here. Right now, the only thing he knows is he's got splash balls going off in his head. And now he brings a left hand upstairs. Good job. Yeah, it was that one, two, three we landed there. Was try and land that again. Goes up top with a right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Turns on that exchange. Myers is coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double edged sword there, Joe, because if you're too cautious, hey, your opponent, he leads it. You're not in that ring alone, you know, and then he's going to get more aggressive. So you want to go out there. As I say, if he's just leaning back, I'll just crack him with those. Bang, that was a nasty hook at the end. It was a nasty power hook we waited to land. Bang, like that. Jesus. Is he gonna get up? I don't know. Oh, he's up, he's good. Six, only a six count. Oh, fair play. He's he is struggling here. Stays away from the ropes there. Bad intentions is not just loading up. He's landing combination punches like he did right there. Good work defensively by oh, damn. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Basic but beautiful jab right hand. He's surviving longer than I thought he would. Big oh no, it's over. That looks like we broke his neck. Well, he's been there before, and now he's there again. He got no, it's four. over. He can't afford to keep going on that floor. You have to wonder when the referee's going to step in now. Oh, fucking this. hell. Nah, it's over. He's done. He's done. He's not going to get back up from that. Oh shit, he got back up. He saved by the bell. What? Okay, yeah, saved by the bell, I was going to say. Intentions. His plan is clearly to go upstairs against his opponent. And to do so, he's staying out of that danger zone, Teddy. How would you attack that? Well, first of all, you need to move your head. Take that height advantage away. You know, slip to either side a little bit. And all of a sudden, get inside that jab. I like this. He's not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he Jesus, he's thrown yeah, fucking heavy at the end to start this round. There we go. It's over. 100%. It didn't even rock him. It's over. You can't get knocked down that many times by Ivan Dragon and get back up. Come on. There we go. It's over. This fight it's say, there's no way that was going to carry on. Down yet no, no cuts though, which was a shame. Stupid ass haircut. I mean, that is not a bad fight accuracy-wise either. 
make sure that this opponent is checked. That was better than all of Drew Washington's fights. He took too much punishment tonight. All right, let's see who's next there. I think Butterbean's ranked quite low, so maybe we'll be able to fight him at some point. Let's see where he's ranked. All right, that puts us to 4-0, uh, 34th ranked. Start of the new year as well, 2012. And then hopefully by the end of this year, we'll hopefully we'll actually start winning fighter of the year and stuff. We, we haven't won it at all with Drew Washington, despite him being 34 and 0. Uh, let's see who's next. Uh, Bubba Bailey, Victor Neal, Jake Judah. Who did we just fight? Philip Myers. He's unconventional at 6 2. Counter puncher at 6 3. Outside fire at 6 foot. Um, mm, Bubba Bailey's four and one in his last five, so let's fight him. Probably seems like the best bet. Uh, we can't afford to go to Puerto Rico yet. Let's train at Philadelphia. Let's get this training done, and let's just jump into the next fight. I mean, that was a bit longer than I thought. I thought we were going to put him away in the first, to be honest, but he was quite resilient. So to say, while I'm training, guys, um, obviously. I don't really show you guys the training in these Fight Night series since the... Well, we, I did with the first one, but since Drew Washington started, I haven't shown you guys any training. Uh, but I want to say a huge thank you for the support on the, this series and all the others. Um, it's been pretty cool to see. I'm uh, definitely going to try and do Ivan Drago like twice a week uh, at least, because it's good fun to do and it's such a different character to play as. Uh, I really enjoy it. So, yeah, I'll definitely be doing more of this. Uh, it's been about a week and a half, two weeks since I've uploaded Ivan Drago. So, hopefully you guys will still enjoy it. Um, and, yeah, if you have any fighters suggestions, any kind of fight style or any characters from films or whatever you want to see uh, in the ring, let me know. And I'll be sure to. That's why i done this Ivan Drago because uh, I think it was uh, TBTF. Uh, suggested doing this one and so far it's done really well so I'm fully on board with any other suggestions all right guys time for the final fight of the video especially after a three round brawl with that last guy uh, let's see what this guy could bring uh six three so he's almost the same height as us actually it's not we're not going to tower over him too much uh 260 pounds 258 we've got a little bit of a reach advantage He's had more, how many losses? He had six, and five of those come by KO, so we'll probably put him away earlier than the last guy. Uh, we'll spend the XP in the next video. I'm not too bothered about it this video. Um, so, yeah, let's just jump into this one. Good evening, everybody, and we welcome you to Wednesday Night Fights. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas, welcoming you... Damn. Packed out stadium. First time fighting in front of one of these. Oh, he's a big boy. Look at the gut on this guy. His power punching, his ability to get rid of a guy. The majority of his wins throughout his career, Teddy, have been by knockout. Yeah, and that power might be the I think he's on a bit of a streak as well. He's four and one in his last five. So it could be on the final streak of his career. Don't crash. That would suck. Great work offensively landing that combination by bad intentions. What does the high stamina fighter want to do in the early stages of a fight against a guy who maybe isn't as conditioned? What he wants to do is make him work. Make him work when he's on the inside. Make him work on the outside. Walk him a little bit. Make sure that at all times, mentally and physically, he's got those zones as far Oh, that cracked his head back. Showing you some defense there with the block. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Bailey. Oh, that was nasty. Bad intentions is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. I feel this guy's not really throwing much. Oh, that should have landed. I, had, I was just saying, I still had a bent elbow when when that should have landed. Commits to the straight right. Oh, god damn. Damn, he's throwing power shots. And now he's targeting upstairs. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shots. 
Ten seconds remaining in this round. Bailey's been stunned. Oh, you lucky fucker. Literally rocked him at the end. I don't know if I'd have dropped him there to be honest. He had pretty much maxed out health. Oh, these one twos are landing clean. A solid left hand by bad intentions. Bad intentions is not skipping a beat. He came out just the way he finished up last round. Yeah, what I like is that he's a thinking man fighter, and his corner gave him. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep. We're gonna have to for sure upgrade the the jab and the straight because it's not as powerful as I want it to be yet. And they're figuring it wasn't enough time. Bailey's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. No, no, what the fuck? Don't be doing that shit. Right hand scores well. Come on. Parries that punch intended for the head. Bad intentions is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Oh, that was nice. Trying to put some nice combos together, but this guy just won't stop blocking. Bailey's opponent has to be getting a little frustrated here. Remember, he had him stunned earlier. He had him damaged a bit, but now the cushion. Well, that's what he wants him to do, Joe. He wants to frustrate him. If he frustrates him, oh, that was nice. A little bit, he can get him out of his game a little bit, and then maybe he can launch a comeback in the later rounds. We're still fighting for the best of six rounds. It's not gone up to eight yet. Oh, you fuck up. There we go. Oh, fuck's sake. Again, rocked him at the end of the round. He just held on. He's got a bit of a busted up eye. Yeah, they're tending to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head, don't get caught so you won't look that way. Maybe they didn't do their job. Just landing that, that straight, just not setting up with a jab, just landing it is working so oh, well. Big right hand lands. <laughs> where there's a spot that his opponent doesn't want to be in, you see him backing him up against the ropes. Damn, man, he's just eating shit. Bailey's in bad shape, but he's doing the only thing he can at this point. He's tying up. Yeah, but what I'm a little surprised at, and I think what his opponent's going to pay a price for later on, he's letting him tie up. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect I think I'm just going to have to wait. Boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you. Oh, that should have been a counter. Way to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Good double jam by bad intentions. Bad intentions is able to land a nice clean that good left jam. hand. That's good hook. Good scoring shot. It was a straight right. I feel like his body's not even open. Here we go. Get off me. There we go. Ah, sit his ass down. Cool, fuck, he looks dead. Fucking hell. We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he just stands there straight and you're the trend, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. He's committed to that left hand and it's working. I think he's just gonna literally hold his block for 10 seconds. I don't want to drain my stamina. Actually, I'm not doing too bad. It's only a six round fight. Fair play. Is in complete control of this fight early on here. Teddy, he's up three zip on your scorecards, but even more important than that, 
He may be able to end this fight. He's put his man down on the canvas. Well, his opponent keeps squaring up with him, giving him a lot of surface, and he's finding that surface. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. There we go. I know I can get him to walk into that, too. I have to excuse my dog barking. Hopefully my mic isn't picking it up. For fuck's sake, this guy has got a granite chin. Come on, come on, You're just stand there doing the squats. There we go. There, come on, that's got to be over. I fucking fell lifelessly to the floor. There we go. About fucking time that was over. He scores the knockout. I should not have taken that long. Now that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good clean fight. Oh, that was a good fight though. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know can a guy that was two good fights. You know. Alright, guys, that puts us to five and oh. Uh, I'm not gonna bother looking who we fight next because I don't wanna um I don't want to uh, ruin it for myself. So hopefully we'll be able to fight like Butterbean or something soon. Like, uh, or um, Christian, oh, what's his name? Cristiano Ariola or Aribola. I can't think of his name. Let's see who we've got before we shoot off. Let's see who we've got in the top 30. Uh, that was who I was thinking of, by the way. Yeah, it is. I was Cristobal Ariola. Butterbean, 26. Sonny Liston. And uh, Ivan Drago there at 32. So hopefully we'll be able to fight Eddie Chambers and Sonny Liston soon. But anyways, guys, uh, that's going to do it for this one. If you've enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.